Hello everyone, Cold Moon here. I'm going to show you how to make a bushing housing with bushings. These are flange bushings, so go on either side. Or you can use a non flange bushing material. You can cut it to length and put a length in each end. Your choice. The purpose of this video is to show that you can make a bushing housing that is designed for a one inch shaft on the inside without the need for a lathe or a mill. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to acquire a piece of drawn over mandrel seamless tubing, DOM for short. This is a two inch OD with a three eighths wall. And the way they make this tubing is they extrude it and the outside is extremely accurate but on the wall thickness to make it a little bit large so that it's undersized on the id the id is around one and a quarter but it's actually a little less than that so that's what makes this a perfect choice for a piece of material that you don't have to do anything other than cut it and deburr it and you just press these bushings right in and you're done with it. No lathe work, quick and easy, dirty way to make a bushing housing. We'll start with a piece of drawn over mandrel. This tubing can be sourced from a metal supermarkets or some other location where they'll sell by the foot. This tends to be more expensive material because it's seamless. And you may not need a full 20 foot stick or whatever their random length is. Usually it's 21 feet or so. So it's right at about two inches, as you can see. The wall thickness, on the other hand, is not quite the nominal. It's a little bit greater than three eighths. As you can see, the wall thickness here is 378 thousandths instead of 375. That means that the ID is going to be somewhere around 1.243, which is about six and a half thousandths according to this micrometer, less than the nominal size of one and a quarter. These flange bushings are oilite bushings. They have a nominal outside diameter of one and a quarter. But as you can see, these are coming in at right at about 1.251. So they're slightly oversized, and that's a good thing. Because what happens is we take this slightly undersized piece, undersized as compared to the one and a quarter nominal ID on the DOM tubing, and then we take this slightly oversized piece, as you saw, and it's going to make a perfect press fit. That means you don't have to machine this out for the correct interference fit, which I like to use around two and a half to five thousandths when using powdered bronze or all light bushings. This is a cast bronze tube. These are usually four and a half inches long. You can buy them at any uh, bearing supply. And then you can just cut these with the saw, whatever length you need. Typical would be about half inch, so we'd cut off about a half inch here. And that would be a piece that we would press into this end. And we, you can do it in any combination. You can either use these two and put one in this end and one in this end. That way you have a double flange bushing with the one inch ID. Or you can put two pieces of this bushing in and let's say half inch so you put a half inch in this way and you take another half inch piece and press it in this way or you can do a combination you can put a flange bushing on one end and a piece of this cast bronze one and a quarter OD bushing at this end so this would be pressed in like that and this would be pressed in like that so you have flange on one side, non-flange on the other, depending on your application.
Okay, I'm going to install the bushings now. Here's a piece I cut, about a half inch. We'll install that on one end. We'll do that first. That's one end. And then we'll come over and we will install this one. This is the flange bushing. These bushings are not going anywhere. It took a lot of force to get those in there, relatively speaking. So you can be assured that these are not going to spin in place autonomously. Now we got one final step here. Since we're making this housing to fit a one inch bar, and this is just a piece of one inch coal roll. Okay. The ID, because this bronze is a malleable material, it'll compress a little bit when you install it. So we're looking at around six thousandths worth of compression, and it needs to be adjusted for a slip fit for, for the one inch bar. And that one's probably twelve thousandths, twelve and a half thousandths. So I'll show you how to adjust that now. We're going to resize the inside diameter of these compressed bushings so that it'll be a slip fit for the one inch shaft. So here we go. Okay, so the remover worked like a charm. And now we have a bushing housing that slips fit for a one inch shaft. No lathe required. That's how you can make a bushing housing of any length. You just cut whatever length you need. This happens to be a two and a half. And you can weld to the outside of it and adapt it into your application as needed. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.